One of the most underestimated aspects of web development is ironically one of the most important ones and that is speed. Um, speed is in itself is a feature and speed kills. Uh, people don't have patience for anything and they generally have you know the attention span of a goldfish and you need to keep this in mind when you are developing or designing uh, websites for your clients or for yourself. So what I want to show you now is how you can replicate um, and get a more realistic idea of the experience of the end user um, rather than just how fast your page loads from you know within the comfort of your lightning fast Wi-Fi, which a lot of developers and designers have, web designers have. So let's use, um, I, in this case, I'm using uh, Chrome's developer tools. So click inspect, and then we go to network. And then over here at the right, you can see it says no throttling. This is where we can switch between different types of internet connections. And my connection right now, it doesn't say that here, but it's uh, 50 megabit, so that's extremely fast. So let's try a site like uh, Medium and see how fast that loads. And I'm especially uh, focusing on the DOM. Okay, so that loaded extremely fast, like almost within a second. So that's, but that's as, as expected. Now let's go back and let's switch this to a slower connection like 2G, which a lot of people have. And depending on your target audience or your uh, client's target audience, some of them will probably have this type of connection. So it may be very relevant to you. Um, so, okay, let's go back to Medium. And I just gotta make sure the, the cache is dis disabled so I can make a fair comparison because otherwise it would just save some of the data in my browser. But th this should be, give us a pretty clear comparison. So let's say uh, Medium and it's 2G, 250 KB and it's still downloading the dom hasn't loaded it's pretty damn slow you would have lost most people at this point i mean people are so impatient and i know this for myself everybody are impatient and okay the dom loaded i think yeah okay so it loaded within 25 seconds that's obviously not acceptable but it, it just it, it illustrates a pretty good point and that is that you should never assume anything you should not assume that your clients or your customers or whatever your, your end user have fast internet because some of them have and some of them don't and your comp the client you're designing for or your own company could lose out big time if you don't uh, take this stuff seriously so let's go back again once more just once more and just check it um, let's say let's check it out on um, just 3G because a lot of people also have 3G but again it doesn't really matter what connection that they have on like let's say it's mobile if they have 4G it doesn't matter because if they are at a location where the 4G can reach for whatever reason and then their 4G becomes 2G or 3G so it, it doesn't really matter you should always optimize page speeds regardless um, of your target audience but it does matter if you know um, a big portion of your audience uh, have slow internet connection. So let's check medium again at 3G. And it should be a quite a bit faster than 2G, and it is, the DOM loaded it seems. Yeah, so it loaded within nine seconds. And uh, yeah, this is just, I mean, it's a pretty nice comparison and you can use this to show to your clients. Uh, I showed this to one of my clients and they had no idea what I meant when I was talking about a fast versus slow site they just had this idea in their head that you know slow is bad and fast is good but they didn't really know what it meant to have a fast or a slow site because they always browsed their own website until you know i read redid their site their old site they always browsed that from their 4g internet on their mobile or their lightning fast wi-fi at, at their work um, and so they had no idea of how fast uh, or sorry how slow their site was uh from the, the end user's point of view and when i showed them this comparison they they understood what was going on uh, because i could actually illustrate and compare okay so this is how the experience would be for someone who has slow internet and this is for someone who has you know average internet speeds and this is for someone who has fast speed like you have and you know pre people are pretty shocked when they realize this and this is something that will 
make them take you seriously when you argue that speed is not just a feature it's arguably the most important feature and it they could your client could potentially lose out on a lot of money and it would be very wise to invest a little bit more money in getting a you know more custom tailor built site that is not you know bloated with all these frameworks like bootstrap and all these other style sheets and and external files that are just slowing down the site and in many cases not every time but in many cases are not necessary at all so yeah just to sum it up speed it is extremely important you cannot underestimate it and for whatever reason almost nobody takes this stuff seriously um and uh yeah so if, if this was uh, helpful to you um please uh, leave a comment and um, rate and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and until next time